What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. Today is the other day where we figure out which one who's going to look at it, huh? We got two bulls. We got two, a bear and a bull, okay? Oh, sorry. Wrong side. We got a bear and a bull. Who's going to be it today? Who's going to be it? Today is the day. We had some great results. Tuesday, we're going to start announcing results more often. Uh oh, hey. Your man's in the building. Why aren't you dressed? <laughs> All right. We got both Elliot's. Um, uh, um, Kawika, don't you worry. We did not do anything fishy together. Um, so don't worry about his workplace. Everything is just fine. We're trying to take care of him. What's up, everybody? If you're in the building and you're live, say hello. Elliot, it's your birthday? Yeah. Today? Yeah. I didn't know that. Happy birthday. Today is this man's birthday. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, shoot. It's Bye, happy appreciate. birthday, Elliot. He didn't tell me anything, man. Well, everybody, first, we got to start off really quick, man. I mean, guys, today is a very special, very, very special day. It is Elliot's birthday. Okay. So I want everybody to wish him a happy birthday, man. He does a lot for us. He does a lot of things for a lot of people. He didn't even mention it, man. This guy. Making me feel all silly. You know I didn't go on the Facebook thing. Oh. So we're going to start off first just because it's a special day. Let's give Elliot some hearts today right off the bat. for uh, If you wish him a happy birthday and hope he has a happy 47th birthday, give him some hearts. Happy 47th birthday. And I hope your husband at least wishes you a happy birthday. Look at, look at all the hearts you're getting for your birthday. A week, you better win because uh, th there are some some things in your uh, thing there. And today we're going to go over some amazing plays. We're going to go over the, the stock market. Let's get some likes for Elliot. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Bullish market is coming. Uh -huh. Elliot will show you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Osama Khalil Mustafa, what's up? Everybody's wishing you a happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we're ready to start this day off. I'm, I'm getting ready, guys. I am getting ready. And we're ready to look at the market with the birthday boy, with the husband, with everybody in here. Whew. I didn't know you're going to. So is it your wedding anniversary and like, how does that work? Is it at the same time? Hey, one, one step at a time. One step at a time is right. All right, guys. Thank you for joining. We're ready to go. We're about to go into the market and check out what's going on. We had some beautiful plays, by the way, that we called out. And if you played them, I think we posted it, right? I talked to Elliot about posting our plays now because guess what? Our winning percentage is crazy. And we're going to start showing it to you. Tomorrow's your anniversary. All right, cool. All right. It's the Elliot anniversary, right? If he's going to dress up for you. Nice little birthday gift. Cool. So what are we seeing today, guys? What did we talk about yesterday? It's getting bullish out there. I like what I saw. Again, it was a big move in the beginning and then a little bit to the bottom. Now, before we begin the real big deal here, if you're new here, my name is Vlad. I'm the Y guy from Stocks to Buy and Why. We, here, we are here to break down anything you need about stocks, give you total clarity, and give you any questions you give us to answer and also any stocks you pick. We will go over. So if you have a stocks you want us to review, comment them below. And if you haven't had any kind of training at all in stocks, don't you worry. Don't you be sour about it. We'll take care of that. We have a webinar that is totally free. Gives you my six steps to how to make money on the market. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't gotten comment webinar below, we got Anthony and Dave who work with us who are going to send it to you. So if you're interested, comment webinar below. All right, guys, I'm interested in Mattel. So let's do this. Oh, wait, Mattel, is that another guy? Huh. We got to be careful here. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? It's because you're hanging out with me. Yeah, it matters for it. No, I don't know. All right, so let's check this out, guys. Um, the market overall is beginning to show some signs of consolidation. And part of it is because it's Thursday. We had a big run, right? We had a huge gap yesterday. And it's finding a little bit of a channel right here which is absolutely normal. We are still in the indecision, just like I said on Tuesday, of where we're going to be, okay? So either we're going to get, we're looking for this to break 462.50. That's what I'm really looking for. If we get to 462.50, we are on a run, okay? If not, we might see a drop. I doubt it. I really doubt it to under 442. 
that's really what we're looking for next week. Okay. Next week is where we're looking at. Uh, I think Tuesday is going to be an, a time when I would definitely, st definitely recommend everybody joining Tuesday. Cause I think that's going to give us the exact direction of where the market's going to go after this move. So that's where we're at. We're waiting for this channel to break. I would set your alarms on your uh, charts, everything on those two days. Jamal Choice, what's up, man? Yeah, let me say hello to everybody here. David Matthew, what's up? We got your stocks. David Matthews. Dave Matthews, Dave Gorby yeah, in the yeah, building. Yeah. Kawika, of course. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Elliot in the building. Um, Osama, what's up, brother? Happy birthday. You see, everybody's wishing you a happy birthday. Brandon Josley, Trid, Gigi, Brandon, uh, Brian, you? Norris, Juana, Michelle Brown, what's up? Lee Tritt, Brian Wilson, uh, Sharon Harding. Everybody, Leo, hey, Leo, what's up, brother? How are you? Everybody's wishing you a happy birthday. I didn't get no birthday gift. No, it's not true. <laughs> and we got Vlad number two, the, the, the man of the hour. What's up, Vlad? How are you, bro? I'm going to keep saying his name because his name is Vlad. And he's Franco. and he, he's the man at selling cars. If you're looking for cars, inventory is low right now. Hey, Vlad, tell us the update. Do you have inventory if anyone's interested in cars? Because it's been tough out there, man. The market, yeah, the market. That stuff. yeah, you let us know. Okay, let's go. Let's check out some stocks, guys. we got a, a lot of stocks to pick. And if you're watching this as a replay, so if it's not for, uh, if it's not 2 p.m. Eastern right now on a Tuesday or Thursday, you're probably watching a replay. Comment replay below. We want to show you some love. And you could also comment webinar. We'll, we'll get back to you. All right. See, Vlad, told, Vlad knows the deal. He's got the cars out there. Let's do it. Start off so if you're interested game. in some cars, if you need a Kia, you need something else, I'm not sure what you're using. I think he, he sells Kia stuff. Mm -hmm. Where's that? All right, let's check out question. AMD. So, By the way, guys, I hope you really saw our market from Tuesday. We posted some results, some sick, sick, sick plays. Sick plays. I hope you really got into uh, some of them. Was this one of them? Uh, from Tuesday yep. to yesterday. So just giving you an example, AMD, somebody just asked me, I thought this was a great play, one of the best ones. And what happened? We started it around here and we got a nice move to the upside, really good percentages. I, I heard somebody, I think somebody texted me, made 48% profit of his money mm -hmm. within a matter of minutes. That's crazy, man. So it's great, great stuff. Great stuff. So now I'm looking for this to break here. We need to see a break of this number. So at this point, no more good play. We already got that play. That play is done. We need to see this thing break 140. We need to see it break the 50-day moving average. Then, and only then, will I think we're going to see some good stuff here. The question was, um, pretty much, are you seeing higher lows yet? Are we seeing higher lows? Yeah, from the previous low. At nine nine at ninety nine, um, what do you mean? I'm confused. That was the question. question. Oh, well, they, I believe it was Leo. He said, "I think I'm seeing higher lows starting to take place now. Uh, I guess compared to this low." Okay. Um, would you say we have to? But you kind of did say to wait. To I, I'm not right now. Right. We're looking at the fact that we're, right now. So if what we're seeing, so a little bit of a breakdown. We understand that's the support line, right? But we're also seeing this beautiful move here. Um, at this point, we're in this direction. I'm assuming this thing could come down a little bit. It needs to retrace because it's, ha it's had a good move here. Mm -hmm. So if I pull up a Fibonacci, it looks to me, there's nothing wrong with this coming down to the 50% move for sure. Uh, at least 125, no no big deal. Um, I would not invest in this at all right now until it gets to around 137, 50, 140, because it breaks that line. Then we're going to the top. And then we form that nice famous, a to B, B to C, C to D pattern. So that's what we're looking for here. And again, guys, if this is a little gibberish to you, you're not understanding a word I'm saying, you need to see our webinar. It's going to give you a good foundation. Comment webinar below. Comment the word web webinar and we got you. Okay, we got two people. We got Dave and, and Anthony who are ready to help you out and they're going to DM you. So comment webinar below. Higher low at 118 and possibly a new. Oh, okay. 118. So you were saying, you know, I said you think it will pull back? Yeah. I guess he's looking for that 118 level to hold. Yeah, I, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, I wouldn't, it's just a really hard one for me to look at right now, just because of the fact that we still have a lot of momentum there. So one candle on a Thursday is not going to sell me on it. I'd have to see, because it's very easily, I could see this start forming a flag pattern as well. Mm -hmm. It's just too much indecision. I can't make a decision like that, Leo. Uh, I would need a little bit more personally. 
It's a day-to-day thing. Yeah, it's sure. just, it's, I mean, yes, I could see what he's saying, but too many times you will see and that you'll get hurt if you do a put option and it does have that one big day, you're screwed. So confirmation is everything, especially when you do a lot of put plays. What happens is, and this is a little psychology game for you guys, is if you have a few good wins under your belt, you get very confident in it and you, you almost sell yourself on things. And you don't follow the rules. I know we've all been guilty of it. You have, I'm sure yeah. your husband has, a few people have. But yeah, man. Anyways, if you're if you're just joining, today is Elliot's birthday. So wish him a happy birthday. He'd really appreciate it. And uh, he told me, uh, and uh, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, we have a course, our stock predator course. It's really, really powerful. He told me on his birthday, he, he wants to give out five of them. So, you, you know, if you're interested in the course, what we're going to do is I'm going to put out a play out there. You got to tell me how I feel about it and see if you're right. If I'm bullish, bearish, or anything like that, you tell me. If you guess it, you get the course. Yeah, I'll pay for your course. You know? Yes, sir. What's the next? <laughs> RRC. RRC. Okay, so let's get this going, guy. RRC, I got mine yesterday. Okay, great, man. Oh, you gave it to him yesterday. You see that? He told me you gave it to him. I'm glad you got it from Elliot, man. He's good at that. He he gives out a lot of courses. That's why it's the Predator course. All right. So this here is looking pretty good to me. Now, we want to make sure patience is the game here. So a couple of things. Now, the candle looks beautiful, and I love it. And it looks like it's about to form A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. But it's also something called rejection. And And sometimes I'm sure you felt rejection in your life before you got married. But here's the thing. Rejection means someone's going for the basket. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. Mutombo. That was a foul, right? Yeah, that was definitely foul. Yeah, no problem. Um, so in this one, what I would say is, okay, so bullish at RRC. You know, Joe, yes, I am bullish, but not fully. And here's why. Okay. It, it, and it's, it's, it's not a bad call, but it needs to break this. Because here's what happens. A lot of times it goes up here and you can see it goes and then it gets rocked. It goes and then it gets rocked. You don't want to get stuck in these moments here. You don't want to get stuck. It goes and gets rocked. Goes and gets rocked. They're not healthy for you. So we're looking for this to break. It's so important we see that specific break. So, and here's the problem too, decreasing volume. We're seeing the volume coming down. We're seeing some flatness over here as well. So that's a problem too. We got some serious, serious problems here. So we need to make sure we take care of that. Okay. And, um, Okay, cool. So to me, I am neutral right now. I li- I am bullish. So whoever said bullish, if you want the course, we got you. Anthony, make sure. Uh, Anthony or Dave, Joel, Joel Bell Panetta. Oh, he's been here before. Uh, get him the course. No problem. We got you. So in this situation here, uh, it, I like I like that it's above the averages. It's looking bullish. I like it, but we want to wait for confirmation. Let's get it to 22 and a half it's even like yeah 22 and a half to me looks like it's a huge break and now we're going for the big one i'll give you another example so you understand from the history here's another time when the stock did this if you once it breaks through look what happened you get that big push it's a waiting game but that's why we have so many stocks out there it's we wait for the right time even here on the shorter term we waited 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 till it breaks that part and then boom we go for the jugular we go for the jugular. All right. What's up, Ron Pasea? And coach, guess what, bro? It's uh, Elliot's birthday. If you're joining us, Travis Knuth, if you're joining us, you're wishing, a, you know, before we go into Bank of America, we got to wish this man a happy 47th birthday. All right. <laughs> what's the next? Uh, AMC. I haven't heard that name in a while. So AMC is beginning to show some game, right? We always talk about this. And every time somebody, you know, does any kind of moves, people get excited about it. Listen, those days are over. I mean, at this point, it's moving like a stock. I personally don't like it. It just, um, I, I'm not doing anything with the stock. There's way too much inconsistencies that we've had with it. At this point, I, if it doesn't get it past 35, I'm not messing with this. It's just too many, too many things with this. So and overall, if you look at it, it's just, it's it's a downward channel. I know we want to see it go up. Um, just, there's too many good things out there for me to play this. It's a short-term play, maybe, but it's too much of a gamble for me. That's a good-looking 47. Okay. Right? That's a good-looking, I'm talking, that's what I'm saying. 
but yeah, he looks like a, like he's like probably like thirty one, right? <laughs> Crazy. Where to next? Uh, L I. L I. Yeah. L I. So L I. Here's the thing about L I. Couple things here. Jai Joel DeAndre. Um, L I went down. And it's hit this little mark right here, decided to go back up. It's now kind of floating here. But because it went up so high, we're seeing the momentum to the high side. But I think it's going, it's beginning to get rejected in this area here at this 50-day moving day average. So it's very important that we break that. So to me, I would say 32 is a good mark to start trading this for sure. For sure. I, I think that would be great. But I think don't be surprised if when anything goes up like this, we see a little bit of a downturn before it starts going back up. So just be very careful with that. It's, it's a little stretched because of so many days. It could still go up, but just expect a few bearish days before that happens. What's up, Amit Patel? How are you? J.R. Johnson in the building. All right, cool. Where to next? Uh, Mattel, M-A-T-T-E-L. That's not the whole thing. Oh, Matt. Matt. Come on, bro, Matt. Oh. Whoa. So this one here. Yeah, this one is a, it's already kind of stretched. It looks beautiful. I get it. But when we take something like this, I would have to maybe um, go back a little bit more. But just so you know, like this is a stock that Leo might like to actually be uh, bearish about. So if I go back to like two years, just to kind of see where we're at, you could see here. It, it, I just want to double check before I spoke. And yes, here it is. So it broke through here on a weekly, okay, over two years. So it looks good. I like it if it's long-term. Long-term, it's great. Look at that. It broke the channel. I think this is going to go to the top. Beautiful. But if you're talking about short-term, it's a different story. What is that, M-A-T? Short-term, we're looking at the fact that it kind of went up. It's got to come down a little bit before it goes up again. Uh, Robert Smirk says, hello. What's up, yeah, I would, Dominic, I would say short-term puts is where it's at. It's got to calm down. Nothing lasts. Like, show me a stock that does this for days, unless it's like AMC and, you know, got announced by freaking every CNN news and, and it's on Reddit. That's about uh, it. Had earnings yeah, yesterday. I had earnings yesterday. So, yeah, it just popped up, man. That's all it is. Again, I like it because it's been in such a long channel. So, it's it's been consistent. So, things like this will pop up after earnings that keep going, but only after a little bit of a downturn. My Disney stock went up. Yeah, let's look at that. Did we, did we talk about Disney? Yeah, but we were saying how it had earnings. That's why it was like 50 50. Yeah, yeah. So, the, yeah, this one, uh, I'm glad it went up for you. That's awesome, bro. That's great. You know, again, earnings is a big thing, man. So, you got to be careful. That's a big win for you, brother. So, good job. Very, very nice. And listen, man, Disney uh, Disney Plus is killing it, man. It's, it's catching up to Netflix, bro. So, they're doing very well. Where to next? Uh, that's probably why Netflix dropped so much. Mm -hmm. But uh, ADP. ADP. Oh, ADP is in a consolidation. So you got to be careful with ADP. I think long-term we're looking good. Now, the volume's really down. Um, so when the volume's down uh, like this, and we're seeing this kind of move right here, it seems like it's trying to break through this 200-day moving average. I'm going to say um, the, we need to be... Uh, Ah, man, because I, I think the 200 is too strong here. So I think it's going to keep rejecting it. And then once it breaks it at around 215 to 17. That'd be a good start. Yeah, That's a sure. good start. I would say 215. If 250, if we get to 215, yeah. then we got something going here. Then we got something going. Looks like a little golf club right now. Yep, yep, yep. So very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. What's the next one? Uh, coin. Coin? Yeah. You know what? C-O-I-N, mm -hmm. because he, it's his birthday, yeah. I want you to go over coin. I'll let what you take the stage. What do we feel about coin? I thought it was good on Monday. When let's we get some, spoke about guys, it. Let's, let's get uh, some more likes for this man. What He's going to go over coin. I want to see what he thinks about coin. Your mouse is like next level high tech. No, that's player. what I'm talking about. Not, this is a gaming mouse. Where's Vlad running off to? All right, all right, I'll give y'all what I see. Um, Again, I... The elite members, uh, we spoke about this on Monday, which is the seventh. I liked it then, uh, not so much right now. Had it to run up a bit. Uh, you can see that 220 level is pretty much that area of resistance right around here. Rejected there today. 
Um, this is kind of like a, <laughs> it's kind of like a doji candle right now, which again, makes me feel a bit indecisive myself, which is the very essence of a doji candle. So until we break above, you know, 240, I would say the next level, how do you, yeah, 240 for starters. This is kind of, yeah, it is pretty new. It just got its 200 day moving average. It's its birthday too. Hey. See that? You're not That's the only nice. one. So yeah, um, I wouldn't enter right now. Wait for 220 and then I want to say 260 now because of that 200. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, I agree. Thank you for that, we sir. We it on Monday. We liked it on you Monday. You see, guys, he knows this ish. <laughs> and guys, it, honestly, man. If you're interested in uh, getting coaching, we well, that's what we specialize in, one-on-one -on -one coaching. We're going to continue with our stocks in a second. By the birthday boy, he's, he does a lot, a lot for us. He's, he's trained a lot of people. We've seen people leave their jobs. And, guys, our goal is if you're feeling overwhelmed in your job, if you're ready to make a move in your life, if you're not spending enough time with the kids, that's what my issue was. I want to spend more time with my kids. I don't want to feel regret later on then you should really think about getting a one-on-one -on -one coach who's going to go walk you through these things, not be involved with the mess out there with social media, trying to figure out YouTube videos. It's a mess, man. It's really tough to do that. So if you're interested and you're, you, you know, you're ready to change your life, I'd love to help. At least let's have a conversation. Comment coaching below so we could book a call and see what your current situation is and see if we could help out. You know, we don't want people to be stuck in their situation. We want this to be a way of life for you. And again, we don't want you to be stuck at a screen either. That's not the goal. The goal is for you to trade a little bit, make some money, go enjoy life. That's the goal. So if you're, like I said, if you're interested, comment coaching below like Deontay and Mitchell did and either Anthony, Dave are going to reach out to you. We're going to do a little interview with you. Find out what your life is all about. And the goal is in five years from now, if you look back, guess what? If you did this five years ago, you wouldn't be where you're at now. So don't let another five years go by and you're stuck. So Jacinta, Uday, no problem. And look, and if you want to join Deontay, Jacinta, we have, um, I think for this month coming up, six more spots available. Obviously, we got to be limited because of, you know, it's human interaction. But we have some great deals. Um, we have one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, whatever fits your lifestyle. We have other things going on as well. The more people we could help, the better. All right. Thanks. Hopefully we'll do, let's do this. G -G You're welcome, man. No, GGPI. GGPI? Yeah. I think that's some electric vehicle stuff. GGPI. All right. GGPI. Oh, Guggenheim. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't know this one? So, um, this one is... <sighs> It's still kind of young, and I, you know I don't like those type of things, but I'm seeing some consistency here, and it's beginning to break this. I'm going to say this. Um, I love the volume on it. I love the momentum on it right now, right? So I think this is a, not a bad play, and it's been consistently kind of consolidating. Not the best thing in the world because I don't like the fact that it's not 200 days, but it's getting kind of close. It's getting kind of close. So if this thing holds to like 1175 or 1150, I think this could play. If you want to be really safe on this, this kind of is the resistance point here. So I would say wait till it hits 12. Anything over 12, I think this is going to break out big. So definitely hold on to this. So, yep. Yeah, and I appreciate everybody. I know, uh, guys, and a, a couple things too. When we interview you for coaching, we don't always take everybody and, and there's nothing against you. If you're, if your situation is you're working too much, we want to make sure you have the right time. You need at least one hour a week to schedule. There are no shortcuts to this. We're going to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to make sure that we do not give up on you until you get it. We were very results driven. So you, and the goal is for you in 60 days to have a plan of how you could leave your job, how you could have extra income, or just be able to spend more time with your kids and control your life the way you want to. So just want to give you guys a heads up, but we want to talk to anybody who's really interested because we really try to customize a plan for you. Essa Frost, how are you? What's your next? Uh, cost, K-O-S-S. K-O-S-S. K-O-S-S right now, um, it, it just broke its two short-term averages. I see it's climbing. It's just a little bit of a risk, man. It just is, and I'll show you why. When it does these little climbs, um, I'm glad you're doing good, Essie. Uh, 
you could see it'll go do these crazy little moves and it just falls down. Now it's beginning to do this crazy little move. It's not a bad thing, but um, best case scenario gets to 10 and a half right here, maybe 11 and get rejected after that. Uh, but hey, I don't know, man. Um, I would just be careful with that. If it gets above 50, uh, above this 11, I'll be more happier to do that. Apparently I won something last stream. No idea what a golden ticket may be. Oh, what is it? Should oh, know. Are you talking about the co Predator course? Yeah, you probably got the Predator course. I think I do remember you. Uh, not a problem. Um, hey, Anthony or Dave, can you please message? I'm going to approve. I remember his name. We're going to approve Mr. Smirk over here for a course. And Bruce Brown, thank you for uh, commenting. Someone's going to get to you as well. All right, let's get this going. Uh, BAC. Bank of America. Dot com. Huh. Uh, they're a good bank, man. Honestly, I like their banking. Mm -hmm. I do. I like them. No, no. I was saying. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a, you know, you got to be careful here. You know, this is kind of hitting high parts, kind of around the 40, you know, it wasn't 47 around before where uh, the, uh, uh, Elliot's age is, but now... <laughs> It's kind of hitting this 50s mark. I'm I'm not a fan of it right now. I think it's really up there. Uh, again, this is what we're talking about. Something like this, you could see it could go up, but it could have something like this where it could go down. We need confirmation of this going up. Because it's so stretched from the averages, I would be very careful, number one. Number two, look at this. The volume's kind of lowering up, man. So it's you know, that's not too, you know, yeah, it is a double top, Jamal. Absolutely. Look at you learning. Look at you learning. Uh, yeah, it is a double top, but we need to make sure it breaks that top. It's very, very important because a lot of times it'll hit once, hit twice, come down and, you know, somewhere here, somewhere here, some whatever, and then finally break out. You don't want to be stuck here. So don't take those. Those are the type of plays where people lose money. And our goal here is make sure everybody in this group does not lose money on silliness because they think something's going to happen. No, no, no. I got tea today. Just tea. Well, it has a tea bag. I know you and... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I go like that with them. What? <laughs> Dude, Lipton tea is really good. If you guys like Lipton tea, you probably know what I'm talking about. Lipton tea is awesome. All right, good. Good stuff. Bear calls. Yeah, Bob Benish in the building. Uh, I like that approach. See how it finishes the day. Huh? So I, I like that approach compared to the bull, the, the bull put right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Daniel Drake. What's up? Chris Bowles. How are you guys? Uh, okay. What's the next? Um, we have Spirit Airlines. I don't know what that ticker is. Uh, I believe it's, uh, oh, man. it's I think it was like S or something. I, don't, I can't remember. Spirit. Oh, save, I think. Oh, yes, yes, yes. save. You're right. Yeah, it is save. You're correct. Um, so this was a good one to get in, maybe. I don't know. It's it, this is a bro. Yeah. That 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 gap up was like, that's a bad that yeah, that's probably uh <laughs> well they probably had earnings. Yeah. I know flights are becoming a big thing. I would just be careful because of this earnings. Because again, when it goes up that much, I like that it broke 200 day moving average. I just don't like when it does it on a gap. Over the news at the moment, I'd say well clear. Yeah, uh, I thank you, Robert. I appreciate it. Thanks. Um, I gotta leave, bro. I gotta leave. Tone Suazo's in the building. Uh, he, you know, he's scary. I'm telling you, man. You don't mess with Tone. You don't mess. No, actually, wait a minute, bro. Come on, uh, Tone. It's his birthday. Can you forgive us today? Not like, please, like Tone you Suazo. stay in front of him, man. <laughs> it's his birthday, bro. Come on, Tone. Let's not pick on us today. Man, <laughs> spirit is all over the news. Yeah, yeah. If it's all over the news, news you want to stay away from. You don't know what's going to happen. Usually, it's a big up and then big down. We've never seen stocks that gap up like this and keep going until there's a little bit of a gap down. So, spirit is in a merger with Frontier. Oh, really? That's interesting. That's interesting. I don't like that because we have an airport here that you could choose either Frontier or Spirit. So oh, now yeah. that that messes that whole thing up. In your Huh? No, in uh, Allentown Airport. Um, all right, cool. Where's the next? Spot. Spot? Yeah. So we'll get through all of them. Yeah, Spotify. So one of the things, I would be careful with Spotify. <laughs> Let me tell you what's going on with them. 
there's a lot of controversy with Spotify because of the uh, what's his name? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Um, it's been in the news. A lot of governments are against them because they you know don't don't, don't agree with what's going on. So it affects the stock. It's going to affect the stock, and that's why it's been going down. Again, I think it's going to rebound, but for us right now, we don't know. So anything in this news, it could go up or down. You don't want to be stuck in ho- hoping and praying you're right. If me and you could argue the which one is what, if the news is good or bad, that means it's a gamble. We shouldn't be arguing. We got to look at the statistics. We got to look at psychology of human behavior. This is not it. All I can tell you right now is below every single moving average. It's in a downward channel. We don't want to do that. So that's let somebody else do that. I don't know if Charles is referring to spot. Charles, uh, are you referring to what stock? Charles Morris. So I don't I don't know if you let me know because I want to make sure here. I just I just uh, gave you a thumbs up. So let me know if, what stock you want me to look at. I'll go back to. It. Where's the next? Uh, T W L O Twilio. They just had earnings, so it's up big right now. Don't go chasing. You know, so Twilio, uh, it's a good company. I really wait. T W L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Twilio is a good company. Good company, but again, you know. Uh, it, I remember remember back in the day when you first asked uh, Awika out, uh, Awika rejected you. And this is what happened. You know, originally, you know, it didn't work out. And that's cool. You got a second chance. But I didn't want to tell you this, this story. But when Awika first went out with you, uh, there was, a, you know, you try to ask out, you got confidence. And then what he do? Bah, rejection. Rejection. No good. No good. I mean, just messing around, guys. Because <laughs> like, oh, I, no. I, I, somebody's new here, they're going to start. Crying. I don't want to do that to you. Um, we just joke around from our last live. So, uh, yeah. So, but what happened is once I hit this 50 day moving average, it rejected it. It rejected it pretty bad. And yeah, it was pretty bad. So, and until it goes through it, we don't want to invest in it. So, to me, you could see the line is right here. It's kind of, and you could see draw it right there. We get to 241 here. We're in good shape. Anything below that, you're just gambling. Where to next? Uh, wow, I'm Done. doing great on. Okay, cool. Uh, so, what was, uh, what's your question, so, Charles? Yeah, he wanted, he wanted to know when to go long and, or, and when to sell for these stocks. Well, that's a lot of stocks. Um, Hold on. One, two, three. These stocks. Uh, I'm doing on. great on SBKLK. Okay, let me read this. Uh, DAC, ESEA, and Zimba yeah. using your method. Oh, well, thanks, Charles. I like that. We'll look, 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 look. We'll also know how you, your opinion on them. Yeah, okay. So let's let's go through. We're gonna go through each one of these real quick, just because it's a lot of them. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know. Um, what was the question? When to go long? When to sell? Are you in them already? Okay, so let's have this conversation here. Yeah, SBLK, yeah. this one here. I'm glad you're doing good on it. Um. Again, if you're joining the live, you could join uh, Charles Morris in one of these crazy plays that he has here. You write those down. Okay. Okay. I just okay. Cool. So, uh, so right here, I can tell you right now, this is a time to get out. You already collected all the profits, and now you have an inverted hammer candle. There's no reason for you to be in this play. The mark, the volume's coming down. This is still showing up, but trust me when I'm telling you, this is a lagging indicator. This is not what you should be following. You should be following the fact that you already took the wins. If you get one or two good days in it, whatever, don't worry about it. Because what you don't want to do mm-hmm. is get caught like this, where the stock goes up and then pow. The pow. stock goes up and then papel. You know, we <laughs> don't want the papels, okay? Oh. We don't want that. So definitely, I would get out of that one. And it's a good, good stuff to go over here because you guys could see the exit strategies in these. DAC, same thing. You played it the right way. Good job. You uh-huh. took the run. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was going to say, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, I was going to say, what the? Very same thing here. I'm glad you played it. But again, we're going into this territory. We're not seeing a lot of movement. And let me show you something else. Let me show you something else on this one. We're seeing less of this happening, less of this. This is beginning to reverse. This is sneak preview of what's going to happen. You better get out of this one, buddy. You bet, that's what I'd recommend. You already had the stretch. There's not much to go. And you could see, even if you got a little bit, it's too much risk to continue. Even this part was a little too much risk. What's the next one? Uh, E-S-E-A. E-S-E-A. E-A. Okay. Um, don't know where you bought it, but this one, 
I would not get out of this one. So this one is bouncing off the 13 day moving day average. Again, guys, uh, I'm going to slow down on this talk here. If this is gibberish to you, if what I'm saying does not make any sense, comment webinar below so we could send you a webinar that's going to give you a good foundation. Just all you got to do, comment the word webinar. Uh, Dave or uh, Anthony are going to get back to you. They're going to DM you and they're going to send it to you for absolutely free. All right. So no worries. Don't you dare be sour at all here for us, please. Cool. Yeah. So what I'm saying is here, it's consolidating nicely. I like it. Um, the volume's okay, but this is showing us a little bit up. It doesn't, I can't tell you which way it's going to go yet, yet, but I will tell you the fact that it's bouncing and it hasn't really been off. Even if it goes down a little, it's such a small risk. The cool thing is though, it's really close to here. So I would say to me, unless it goes below 30, you're good to go. Even if it goes down a little, stay in it. Okay. Charles Morris webinar. Man, apparently you don't need it. You're doing pretty good. But yeah, we're, we're going to comment below uh, for you, um, Anthony or David. Guys, and really quick, if somebody sends you a Telegram message or they say, hey, man, join me here. Thank me later. Ignore those. Those are scams. We try to get them out of it. If somebody DMs you personally and it's not David, Anthony, or Vlad, then ignore it. It's going to be Anthony O'Neill, David Gorbia, Vlad Taman. Those are the only three people who would DM from here. Uh, otherwise, they're trying to scam you into things, and we don't want that. We're trying to really keep people away from there. So, yeah, just <laughs> letting you guys know. What's up, James? Where to next? GSL. GS still uh, one of these guys? All right, he's nice. Heavy, he's heavy in the transportation stuff. So I like what you did here. Mm -hmm. I would keep this going. Why do I keep this going? Very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, volume is king. So this thing went up, went down. And usually I'll tell you, oh, I don't know, but we got a solid candle <clears throat> that's breaking through this beautifully. It broke through this little short term here. We got beautiful volume, beautiful momentum. You know, we even have like, if you look here, it's kind of cute. We have a little, uh, it is cute. Look at the little crocodile. Ooh, say, wow. You see the crocodile? So once you got the crocodile, you're good. You don't have to be in Australia for this one. Keep it going very closely monitor because you're going to have one or two good days. You got to be out. If you if this hits like above 30, get out. Collect your option profits. It really does look like a crocodile. Yeah. So listen, uh, guys, I love that. I love the fact that, um, um, well, I apologize. Charles. Charles actually played a lot of his plays based on our strategy, and he looks like he won every single time, which is awesome. So if you're interested in doing something like that, the best way, the fastest way to do it is one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you're interested, if you're ready to leave your job and just do this for a living, make picks quick, make some money, and then, hey, enjoy maybe a little side hustle you like to do, something maybe fishing, maybe, you know, I don't know. What is it that, what do you guys like to do? I'm mean, very interested. I'm actually genuinely, I'm not even joking. What, what are your hobbies? I would love to comment. What do you like to do? Play basketball? Like, what would you do if you were not working? Would you play with your kids? Like, I'm really interested. And genuinely, genuinely, I would love to know in our group, what are some of the hobbies you guys have? Because that's interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, guys. Any thoughts on Unity? We'll check it out. <clears throat> we're going to put that on the list. Thanks for joining, Charles. Tra travel. Where would you travel, Wayne? Um, where, where's like the spot? Where's next? Uh, Zim. Zim, the Zim same guy. Fish. Yep, same thing. Zim, right? It, it was another one I saw. No, that was the same. Yep, that was the last. Again, one. another one Charles picked based on our formula, and you could see it went up. Again, Charles, you're asking me what I would do. I would get out, get out. Not the group. You stay in the group. We love you here. Don't you leave the group. We love you here. But I would get out of the stock. It's already showing us that it's kind of stretching. You could see that the amounts of movement now are so small because we're seeing decrease in volume, and it makes sense, guys. I mean, think about it. At this point, people are coming out of the stock, you know, because they're trying to collect um, collect money, collect their earnings. Scuba, ooh, Chris, I love scuba diving. I actually went to I used to, I went to a, a place in Antalya, Turkey. Antalya, Turkey. That's right. In Italian Turkey. You no, know, Antalya. It's a town in Turkey, and I actually went scuba diving. It was one of the best things in the world, man. I love scuba diving. They had like a school bus underneath. Yeah, man. It was really, really cool. Life, Bob. Anthony O'Neill, can you reply to Blob? Blob. I'm Blob. sorry. Reply to Bob, because I know he's into fishing. Fishing and playing the piano. Yeah, man. 
and love having the time to do what I love. Thanks for for, for the, that Latin. Hey man, no problem. You know, Anthony, yeah, I, I know Anthony's really good at this stuff and he's like, loves it, man. You and Bob Benish, Benish need to kind of figure out when you guys could go fishing together. That man is a, a, intelligent, man. He's an engineer and he's part of our elite members now. Where to next? Uh, Doc, you. How many stocks? Holy, you guys, you know, you ain't messing around. Uh, Docky right now, still not in a place I like it. Um, so to me, yeah, no, no, it's just, it's way below its 50 day moving average. The least, I don't want to talk about the stock until it gets around here. At least now we're breaking some sort of gap. 160, we're in business. Anything below that, I'm not going to like it. Even if it does go to 140, I'm just, it's too many gambling things going on. You know, I'd rather sign the docky sign to not do this one. At Wells Fargo, when is it the right time to sell? Okay, let, let me check that one out real quick. Sorry for, for skipping. Uh, the best, oh man, that's a good one to ask, bro. That's a good one to ask. I'm going to say the fact that it went A to B, B to C, and now uh, um, it went all the way up. I would sell now. I mean, am I wrong? Uh, do you want to find out what happens tomorrow? Yeah, I would be very careful. Again, look at the look at the just history. That's a beautiful pattern. I like what you found there, but at the same time, A to B, B to C, C to D, it did what it needs to do. It needs to come down to 56. I would get out of it. In fact, I can't think of a better point to get out. We have an inverted hammer candle. That's the exit point. So I think I've been scuba diving with Vlad. You know what, Dave? I think we have. Yeah, I think we did go, man. I think we meet him and a few other people in Mexico, was it? In Mexico, in our former world of life. Where's the next? Uh, so far. So far. Yeah, guys, listen, like I said, man, uh, personally, uh, before we get into so far, is we got to find out, you know, the fact that it's Elliot's birthday really bothers me that not everybody's, I would love everybody here to just sit down, open up a big campfire and say happy birthday Elliot but we can't but we could also sh we could all share some hearts before we continue guys we have a lot of more stocks don't leave hey, no, I'm talking to you yeah I'm talking to you don't leave yet let's get some hearts for Elliot it's his birthday I want you to look at this for a second I want you to count the hearts these are people who love you here I know I love you I can't give you a heart yeah I can what am I talking about yeah and while you guys are giving hearts, like I said, man, Elliot, what's, what Elliot loves to do is help people. That's his, believe me, I swear to you on everything. That's all he loves to do. He wants to see people change his life. That's why uh, I brought him to the team. Uh, yes, he's great at stocks, but it's the love. You have to give love to people. And I could assure you, anybody who's an elite, anybody who joined our paid program, all right, he said happy birthday. Tone said happy birthday. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that's, a, that's a happy sign. He's not pissed. If anybody who's in the elite program and who's in our coaching, can you guys tell me about Elliot? How caring and how uh, how much support does he really give you? He does it from the heart. And our goal is to spread that. Our goal is to spread that to as many people as we can. Obviously, we have a limit. So if you're interested in getting coaching from someone who actually cares, who's there for you 24 hours, let us know. Because uh, um, all you got to do is comment coaching below. And we'd love to interview you. And obviously, everybody we interview, we take notes, we go over it with Elliot because Elliot wants to make sure before anybody joins that we're actually there with someone who's ready to take results, who's financially ready for this, you know, that type of thing. We want awesome. And so you could see Elliot is the GOAT. So, yeah, he, he's actually kosher. So he's good. <laughs> he is, man. He is the GOAT. He's the LeBron James of stocks here. Elliot is the best. What stock should I buy? To make quick money. Uh oh. So yeah, man. Quick money. I appreciate it, guys. Again, anybody who has who still has not seen our webinar, I keep saying it. Highly recommend it. And uh, I'm gonna next stock. I'm gonna pick. If you could guess, but we're gonna play a little game. Let me know if you if you think I think if you think I think it's bearish, bullish, or or neutral. Uh, trying to figure out age. I know his age. I know his age, and I will give it out. All right, let's see. Actually, forget what I just said. Everybody, who whoever guesses his age on point has to be on point, gets a free course. And if you already have the course, I want you to guess anywhere. <laughs> anyway, what's uh, Elias? Come here. No, no, don't you freak it. Look, show him your face. Show Look at this face. Look at that face. What's his age? Uh, let's get into 
What's it? <laughs> Junior Johnson said 47. <laughs> <laughs> we got 37. No all right. Shit. All right. All right. Uh, he's not 47. I lied about that one. He's not 30. He's not 47 and he's not 37. What's his real age? What's next? Uh, Fubo. Fubo. Elliot is awesome and always answers our questions in the private chat. He, he really does, man. Brian Norris, is 21. Does he win? <laughs> Nobody got it yet, but there's a lot of close ones. Yeah. A lot of close ones. I will say he is younger than 49 and he's younger than 35. I'll say that. So far, nobody's guessed it. What's the next doc? Uh, oh, Fubo. Oh yeah, Fubo. Fubo's looking at right. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Uh, oh, somebody got it right. Somebody got it right. Yeah. On the dot, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Mr. Victor, and he's actually a paid client. 31. He's my stuff, though. 31. Good stuff, huh? <laughs> I know Anthony actually uh, played as a stunt double. So whenever uh, Elliot gets sick, he looks kind of very similar. If you guys look at Anthony's picture, you know, you got to let me know. What do you think? They, they look very similar. According to Elliot, he's, uh, he feels like uh, Anthony's just a little more too poppy, whatever that means. <laughs> that's, the, that's what you said. Uh, this one's going off the averages. I like that it's beginning to form this pattern here. Uh, my issue is... My issue is, okay, we'll say, hey, come back, come back. Guys, I want you to say, no, take off your hat. Take off your hat. Um, oh, what do you guys man. think? This is oh, Anthony. Guys. This is Elliot. Do you guys the think <laughs> they have a similar look? <laughs> no, I didn't Be honest. Like come on. If, if, could you? We'll no, no, no. Stunt double. Same smile, same everything. Look at that. I'm taller. I just realized that. Yeah. Do you guys see this? I thought I, I, this, I, I thought Elliot and oh Elliot was the same God. guy. <laughs> they are twins. You guys see this? Look at these faces. Twin, man. Happy no. no. birthday, Elliot. <laughs> the difference here is so from now on, yeah. I'm just gonna be like this guy. Bullish, bearish. <laughs> <laughs> is that <laughs> like David Gorby said? Is that Drake? All right, we're out. I'm going to take Bella. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah, it's also my <laughs> dog's birthday, too. Happy birthday, Bella. Happy birthday, Look birthday, Bella. at my little girl, my little senior over here. Say hi to Bella. Everybody say hi to brother. Yeah. <laughs> That's my twin. Mwah. Love no, this your dog. Daughter, your twin, seriously. <laughs> All right, let's get this going, guys. Thanks for, uh, everybody, thanks for joining and thanks for putting up with our shenanigans. We got plenty more. <laughs> I would not get into this one, honestly. I think it's it's showing some good promise. Give it a little bit. The volume's way too low. It's beginning to show some promise, though. So get it to 12, maybe even 13, and then we could talk. 15 is ideal. If it gets to 15, man, we are chilling. We are investing, but it's still in an indecision. What's next? next? What's next? We got UNH. UNH, UNH is looking like a stock. Uh, what do we got in UNH here? UNH. Ooh, copy. Uh, a to B, B to C, C to D, right? So it looks, you can see, you can see how the stock goes A to B, B to C, C to D. Retrace with A to B, B to C, C to D. Uh, I mean, at this point, you get the idea. I think it's coming down. You, and you're already seeing some of the uh, candles showing that way. I just don't like it. I think it's going to come down to at least 475 uh, before it gets to anywhere higher. You might see one little day of like a couple dollars. Definitely not good risk to reward. A lot of, hey, Bella, she, uh, Lori says hello. Don't you give me that look, Bella. She said hello. She says hi. As a, well, she says hi. Um, and she'll wish you happy birthday, bro. Right? He's brother from another mother, Robert Smurfs. See, I told you guys. All right, what's your next? Uh, TS. TS. TS is looking like it wants to do something. It wants to do something. But you got to be, let me show you something, guys. This is important you understand. It look, looks to be deceiving. It wants to break through this and it tried today, but here's what you got to be careful. It already broke through this resistance. So it's already kind of stretched. And look at this. You're seeing this. Uh, Wow, I couldn't think of the lines. What are they called? Histogram. Histogram. I'm so thank you, thank you. Birthday. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can see the histogram is beginning to form here. Everything's coming down to that area. I would say specifically at this point, definitely stay away from it. We've got lower volume. I think this thing is going to come down a few dollars. Definitely going to come down a few dollars. I would take a, a, a decent amount of bet on that. I think, again, um, unless it really pu pushes up, but I just think it needs to come down a little bit. What's next? 
MTTR. <clears throat> MTTR, no, no. So this That's is specifically uh, under the 30-day moving average. It's been there. It's stuck there. Um, yeah, it's showing some momentum, very lagging. Not something I would not mess with this one. Where's the next? And guys, real quick, before we go into this one, I always say I don't like stocks under $200, under 200-day moving average. The reason is, you could see, it looked like it was good. It's still trying to find its identity. And at any moment, it just freaking tanks. That doesn't always happen unless it's news, but it does happen with stocks that are still somewhat new. What's your next? FISV financial thing. FISV? Yep. Yeah, can you close the door? Yes, loud. All right. Uh, FISV. Let's see what we got here. FISV. So it looks like to me, uh, man, uh, yeah, it's, it's just bearish, man. It's uh, under every single thing. It's kind of playing here. I could see this continuing to go down. I mean, look at this. If anything, I think a put option would be good. But don't be surprised if you see this in the next week at around 97.95. I, I mean, and if it does go up, you know, you have a chance to get to 104, but it's too much of a risk. Definitely would not play this. Definitely not even close. What's the next? QS. QS. All right. Uh, B. Cool, cool, cool. So this one is just, again, um, forming this pattern right there. You could see it. Uh, it. It's got this nice little pattern over here. We're looking for this to break. But again, if it gets to like 19, it would be good. I like it there. Because, uh, right? Like 19 wouldn't be bad to play to 21. Yeah, yeah. Um, or if it gets to 20, yeah. I would say 19 and then we reevaluate at 21. You know, so... But I wouldn't do it right now. We need to see it break that blue arrow, this blue arrow right here. What's the next? Uh, three M's. M3 thing, I believe. I think no, Amit Patel M. asked this one. Um, okay, so this one, guys, I'm not a fan because it's going down right now. It could be something like a little bit of reversal. But look how far stretched it is from all the moving day averages. It's just been ever since it broke down this support here. It's just been on a tear to the downside. So I would not play it's like this. Doing the, uh, uh, inverse bounce strategy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would not mess with that. What's your next? Uh, MQ. MQ. Marketa. Yep, uh, MQ. Same thing. Kind of. It's it's beginning to break things up. I now this one I like a little bit more. If again, we, we sometimes we want to take some risks, right? But again, the the stock is. Uh, and I just told you this, man. I just showed you guys this. Look, it's not two hundred day. 200 days and what happened? It has goes through a little bit to the downside, to the upside, and then bam. Well, this is not something that's easily predictable. So until it gets to 200 days, uh, be careful with it. It's just gambling. Plug. Plug. Plug, plug, plug. So one of the things we do go over, huh? No. I don't know why it's doing that. One of the things we go over in our leech uh, group, and, and what, if you take our course, which I strongly recommend, obviously, to, if you really look at the change your life and do something new with your life and something that's going to give you financial freedom, uh, we do break down kind of the psychology behind all these things. So it's actually it's kind of similar. <laughs> yeah, it is. So yeah, this one just broke through these averages, um, but it's not good enough because it, 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 because all the other side, you see this 50 day moving day average to the, it's still pointing down which is not a good sign. I will say, you know, you could see this line right here. I would be very interested to see if this gets to 25 around here. I think this could be a big move, man. But it needs to get to 25. Otherwise, you could see this tank pretty strong because if it hits this 24, which is going to probably do, yes, you could make some money on that, but I would not. You need to see it break to get a good, healthy move. Next. You. What about me? You, you, you know. Oh, yeah, I saw somebody ask it. Uh, I forget who it was. Um, yeah, you looks okay, right? It's beginning to show something here. Um, yeah, so it broke through this. I like this one, man. I think this could be good. I don't think it's going to do something tomorrow. And there is a risk of it coming down to 105. But um, I also think if it does, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stick pretty well. And I don't see, I think this could get to 120 easily. So I'm going to go with 120 on this one, but be careful for the rejection. Right now it shows a little indecision. So we could see a little bit of a downturn, but if it's not a bad risk to reward because I think it's going to go right back up. I think it's going to hold this line. I really believe it's going to hold this line. 
and then it could be a good move. I would wait till Monday at least to see where it's at. I would not get into it on a right now towards the end of the week because it could be a sell off. Uh, Wells Fargo. We look at that. No, we looked at another bank one. No, we looked at Wells Fargo. For one hundred percent, yeah, it was the double. Yeah, remember it's probably the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, because I skipped. Remember? Uh, Ah. Because he was asking like, what was the exit? Um, SLB. SLB. Okay, SLB. This is an interesting one, guys. So this one here has been hitting this point and it's really consolidating really much into this flag pattern. And I want to say it's going to go up, but guys, that's a, that's not a prediction. That's a guess because here's the thing. We need to see it break through this. Then it's going to say, because here's what I'm seeing. We're seeing the momentum itself kind of showing to the downside. So there's a good chance this thing starts uh, with this type of momentum, man. Here's another example. It does this and then it tanks before it gets better. This could for certainly, for certainly tank, for certain. So, but if it breaks 41, 41 and a half, invest. Because now it's breaking a huge move, kind of like it did with this consolidation. We need that confirmation though. Without the confirmation, you could get really, really screwed. BP. Next. BP? BP is another one consolidating, but I don't like that it's consolidating at the very top. Too many gaps, number one. And here's the other thing about this one. You have that A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. And I'm ready for it to see come down. This is good volume, but realistically, man, there's some flatness going on here. This needs to come down to 32 before we even discuss it again. B, K, K, T. All right. We're coming close to the end, guys. Who's enjoying the show, guys? Real quick, man, if you're, if you're just joining us, this is your chance to get our webinar and next person to comment, the next two people to comment course. If you haven't seen our five module course, it's a $500 course. I'm giving it away for free, but only two people, the first two people to comment course below. I think you'll really like it. It gives you the, some great psycho psychological aspects. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Thank you so much. Um, BKKT, again, being rejected by the 50-day moving day average. It already had its move. It, it's a perfect, this is a perfectly predictable play to say we need to see it come down at least to the six. All right, John Cuban, Anthony, Dave, let's get him the course. Uh, happy birthday, Elliot. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. He, you, so Chris Liddick is one of our paid members. He's going to do a one-on-one -on -one session. Guys, if you're not part of this yet, definitely set up an interview. Just comment coaching below, please. Because with the mastermind group that we have, the, the support, the family of the people in, in our chat that always support your moves, that always help you out. Besides the one-on-one -on -one coaching on demand from Elliot, always available to talk talk to. It's really cool, man. Robert Smirk, you got the other course. No problems. Um, okay, what's this one? What's the next one? BK. Yeah. BK. All right, BK is hitting that double top. I think somebody else mentioned it already. Uh, somebody it's in our financial side. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hitting this double top. It's ready to calm down. We're, we're probably going to see this to the 50% move. And financials, sometimes they just dip. So you got to be careful once they do this. So definitely something I would not invest in right now. In fact, probably a put option, if anything. Uh, thanks, John. No problem. I really hope you enjoy that uh, course. Let me know what you think about it. So, um, yeah, I think that's a lot of stocks here. Guys, I want to just thank everybody who's supporting us today, man. A lot of you guys really, really support us, and I really appreciate it. Every single one. And everybody who we picked on, we really appreciate you being a good sport. Uh, just so you guys know, it's a joke. He's not married to the other Elliot here. We're just messing around. Uh, but before we go, uh, obviously, you guys know, webinar, comment webinar below if you haven't gotten it. Uh, comment uh, coaching if you're interested in coaching. And more importantly, let's all wish Elliot one more time a very happy birthday. Coffee, beer, and whiskey. Happy. So, <laughs> can this camera move? Can yeah. you guys go live? Can you guys move through the office for me? Uh, oh, yeah, let's do it. Come through the office with we'll me. We'll go to the portable? office. No, it's not. Uh, can we move to the phone? Huh? No. No. Ah. But we're, we're about to go celebrate El Elliot and his 31 year old birthday, guys. Let's get old. one more time, everybody. Ready? Everybody, come, come in here. We got the whole here. team here today. Come, here. come on, Ann. Go. We got everybody here. We're going to all sing happy birthday to Elliot live. Ready? Come, here. come on. <laughs> <laughs>
Ready, guys? Here we go, man. We got a nice little. Uh, oh, so we got the twins. Hey. Each other. Here we go. Everybody, let's give. If, if you like the cake you're seeing here, uh, you deserve it all, Elliot. I ain't yeah. gonna have these candles. Hmm. Look at this. Happy birthday, E Man. All right, everybody, let's say oh, while we're like singing COVID. happy birthday, we're going to watch the hearts. Let's support Elliot for everything he does. Let's happy go. Birthday yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday, dear Elliot. Happy birthday to you. Bullish market all day. Oh! Did you see that COVID blow right there? Happy birthday, Elliot. Oh, look what you guys did. We're no longer bullish. The bullish got messed up. Let's go. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate you sharing this with us. Oh, they, we got him, man. We got him. Thank you guys, so much, everybody. Appreciate it, man. Say good night to Drake. Thank you, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure. Again, guys, looking forward to talking to all of you. And uh, again, love you all. Trade Seriously. Foundation. We are out. We are so out. It's not even funny. Let's go celebrate. Quickly, happy birthday, Elliot. Happy, happy birthday. birthday.